Apple's iPhone 14 Pro is set to be the phone that could shake up to the iPhone range by potentially bringing in a notably different design from the iPhone 13 Pro. With just a few weeks to go before the iPhone's usual September launch, iPhone 14 rumors up to now have hinted at everything from the depth of the notch to an always-on display. The first real look at the iPhone 14 arrived in mid-March with some alleged leaked device diagrams. They showed a near indistinguishable design from the iPhone 13 with the same notch and similar camera bump. Rumors and supposedly leaked diagrams point to models having 6.1-inch and 6.7-inch displays, echoing the sizes of the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Despite the larger size, the Max model will share the specifications of its non-Pro stable mate. What will change on the outside could be the camera bump, which could be made to be smaller. The Pro line up of iPhones get the most significant upgrades each year, and for 2022, that probably remains the case. Once again, rumors point to two models, consisting of the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max, complete with 6.1-inch and 6.7-inch displays. Leaked diagrams indicate they should be practically the same size and shape as the year-ago models. On the model issue, some bloggers broke the news on the internet about the latest model spy photos of the iPhone 14 series, which is basically the same as the previously exposed news. Apple has insisted on using four iPhones as part of its two-generation flagship product, and the new mold that leaked the news of the iPhone 14 series shows that the company will not change the number of devices it launched this year, that is to say, Apple has added a large screen version to the standard version after cutting off the mini-series, known as the iPhone 14 Max. And due to the impact of the epidemic and supply chain, the price of the iPhone 14 series may have been raised compared with the previous generation. Design Rumors most of the leaks for iPhone 14 so far have focused on the Pro models, the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. That may be because Apple seems to be taking a different approach to upgrades for 2022. The Pro models are rumored to be losing the notch in favor of a pill and hole cutout, a 48 MP camera, and a better A16 processor. However, the standard models may not be too different from the existing iPhone 13. The diagrams appear to show thicker frames around the camera lenses in the bum, but that's the only noticeable change. Even the display size and bezels remain the same with the 6.1-inch screen. Supply chain analyst Minchi Kuo also shared that Apple would call the new larger standard model the iPhone 14 Max, and it would have a 6.7-inch screen. This would make it the same size as the iPhone 13 Pro Max but would lack the Pro feature set. Cameras Apple is expected to continue offering a two-camera system for the iPhone 14. One is a 12MP wide lens, and the other is a 12MP ultra wide lens. Apple could move its Pro iPhones to 48MP wide cameras. This upgrade would mean a significant jump in photographic capabilities. All iPhone 14 models are expected to have 7-element, or 7P lenses. However, the optics quality would be better for the Pro models. The cameras may also get a massive upgrade, with the use of a 48-megapixel wide camera sensor. The change could result in the ability to record 8K resolution video and create more detailed 12-megapixel images using a process called pixel binning. The proposed $100 increase for the non-Pro models may also appear in the Pro range, if only for consistency. However, Apple may still seek to avoid the sticker shock associated with the starting price of $1,099. The iPhone 14 Pro's new 48MP camera could be disappointing in low-light conditions, according to a source speaking to Leaker Leaks Apple Pro. A new report reveals Apple plans to order 90 million iPhone 14 units for launch, which would be quite high in this economy. The iPhone 14 Pro is tipped to get a $100 price hike but could offer more entry-level storage as a result. Some reports have the rear camera module tip to get bigger. The reason for this according to reliable Apple analyst Min Shikuo is that a larger module is needed to house a 48MP camera. As a result, another leak claims the corners of the iPhone 14 Pro will be getting rounder to better match the curved corners of the new module. Don't expect a big change in the number of cameras the iPhone 14 Pro will bring. 
as the Pro phones are tipped to stick with the standard combo of a main, ultra wide and telephoto array. And there's scope for the telephoto camera to get a zoom boost, as an Apple patent points toward the company working on a periscope style zoom camera. If such a feature was going to debut in an iPhone, it would be for the iPhone 14 Pro. But to muddy the waters, Apple Oracle Ming Chi Cool claims the periscope camera won't appear until the iPhone 15 in 2023. The lack of a telephoto upgrade for this year could make the iPhone 14 Pro a real letdown. Analyst Ming Chi Cool claims all models of the iPhone 14 will get an upgraded front facing camera. It's looking like this will involve a new wider aperture, a more complex six part lens, and the addition of autofocus for the first time. Together, this should allow the iPhone selfie snapper to take brighter photos that are easier to shoot thanks to the autofocus, and that will be less prone to distortion. Display The 120Hz variable refresh display will not be coming to the entry iPhones in 2022, and display supply chain analyst Ross Young says this is due to supply constraints. The feature isn't necessarily reserved for the Pro models and would be available once the supply chain can ramp up to meet demand, perhaps in the 2023 iPhone 15. The 6.1-inch Super Retina XDR display on the iPhone 13 will likely return for the iPhone 14. It is a 6.1-inch OLED display with a 460 pixel density. The larger iPhone 14 Max will likely get the iPhone 13 Pro Max display panel, just without promotion. That's a 6.7-inch Super Retina XDR display with a 458 pixel density. iPhone 14 Pro Display and Always On Display Feature One of the biggest upgrades of the iPhone 13 Pro delivered was a 120Hz dynamic refresh rate display. Thanks to the use of an LTPO panel, the screen could go from 120Hz to as little as 10Hz when a faster refresh rate was needed, and thus that helped save on battery life. According to some rumors, the iPhone 14 Pro could build upon this and scale down to as little as 1 Hz, reducing the power drain of a display. And this could enable the reported use of an always-on display. The standard iPhone 14 models are now tipped to get a 90 Hz display, which would be an upgrade over the 60 Hz of the iPhone 13 but not quite up there with the Pro phones. As for screen sizes, according to Ross Young, the iPhone 14 Pro could increase in size from 6.06 .06 inches to 6.12 inches, and the iPhone 14 Pro Max from 6.68 to 6.69 inches. This will apparently be because of rumored slimmer bezels and new notch design. Cables and Connectors there are rumors that suggest Apple would finally go the USB-C port route with the iPhone 14 Pro, and that would make sense as many of its devices already have USB-C connectivity. However more recent rumors claim that Apple will stick with Lightning over USB-C but switch to updated Lightning ports with faster USB 3.0 data transfer. That comes as the EU moves closer to making USB-C the standard charger for portable devices like the phones. For some people, USB-C on the iPhone 14 Pro would be a must-have feature. In fact, the lightning connector is arguably the worst thing about the iPhone, as it can wear out over time. This can make it very difficult to charge your phone. Unfortunately, Apple is unlikely to abandon lightning unless it has to, given how established the standard and its ecosystem of accessories already is. Meanwhile Ming Chi Kuo predicts that Apple will switch the iPhone to USB-C, but not until late 2023. If he's correct, and a new report in Bloomberg suggests that he is, it means we won't be seeing an official USB-C iPhone until the iPhone 15 arrives. Rumor mongers like John Prosser and Ming Chi Kuo have both stated that Apple isn't likely to use USB-C in iPhone, but would move to a portless device instead. Rather than a plug-to-port connection, the iPhone would communicate wirelessly or via a magnetic connection. Rumors for a portless iPhone have circulated for years and always end up being pushed back to a later model, which has also occurred for the iPhone 14. Apple apparently isn't ready to move to a portless design and will use Lightning again, but some advances may be made to prepare users for the transition instead. Biometrics Rumors previously said that Apple could include both Face ID and Touch ID in the 2022 iPhone, but the technology has proven difficult to implement. 
Meng Chi Kuo has said that Apple doesn't have an official timeline for implementing Touch ID in the power button. Under display Touch ID was another option Apple was reportedly investigating, but it hasn't proven fruitful since users expect a large area for fingerprint detection. Apple could also hide Face ID sensors under the display, but Ross Young says this wouldn't happen until the 2024 iPhone. Instead, Apple will continue to offer the same Face ID system that is available in the iPhone 13. The standard iPhone 14-inch models will have a notch to house the components. Processor Kuo states that Apple would use 6GB of RAM across all iPhone 14-inch models, which would be up from 4GB in the iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini. That means the A15 used in the standard models will likely see similar performance to the iPhone 13 Pro. With further differentiation between standard and Pro iPhones, Apple could be using the margins to push enthusiasts to higher-end models that cost more money. This approach creates a clear upgrade path for customers, so those who want the latest processor and camera tech will have to go for the more expensive model. Colors More leaks are starting to spring up about the color options for the iPhone 14 Pro. A Chinese leaker claimed that alongside the familiar graphite, silver and gold Pro iPhone colors, the new option for this year would be a dark purple. As for the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max, the new purple hue would join silver, gold and graphite as the reported color options. Both the Sierra blue color available since the iPhone 13 Pro's launch and the Alpine green version introduced in the spring would be dropped from the lineup. In terms of screen, there is a lot of information that Apple will abandon the bang screen on the next generation of iPhones and switch to a cut-out screen similar to the shape of an exclamation point. But it should be noted that only the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max will use the exclamation point screen, while the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Max still need to use the bank screen. iPhone 14 Pro Specs and Battery Life We'd expect to see an A16 Bionic chip in the iPhone 14 Pro series, with improved performance across the board according to alleged benchmarks. However, a suite of rumors thus far have the iPhone 14 tip to stick with the A15 Bionic chip, which would create a disparity between the model's core specs. This would be a first for Apple as it has always equipped new iPhones with upgraded silicon. That may be no bad thing the A15 Bionic is still a very powerful chip and more than enough for pretty much any smartphone task. So we've chewed over what the A16 could bring to the table to warrant buying an iPhone 14 Pro over the standard iPhone 14. The iPhone 14 Pro will match or exceed the 11 hours and 42 minutes the iPhone 13 Pro did in our battery test, which forces the phone to endlessly reload web pages on a cellular connection until it dies. The iPhone 13 Pro Max managed a lengthy 12 hours and 16 minutes, so we'd expect the iPhone 14 Pro Max to do the same or better as Apple Boost chip and phone efficiency. As for 5G, we're expecting the iPhone 14 Pro to use a new smaller 5G modem chip. The smaller size should mean it takes less power to run, and that there could be extra room for the battery to expand into. That would mean the already impressive battery life of the iPhone 13 can be improved upon even more. Pricing and Release Ivan Apple's previous pricing strategies, the iPhone 14 will likely be priced very similar to the iPhone 13. However, with no many in the lineup, the starting price would be $799. The iPhone 14 Max would occupy a new middle price tier at $899, just under the Pro price of $999. That is unless Apple decides to drop to the iPhone 14 to the iPhone 13 mini $699 entry price due to this generation's lower cost of components. Apple will likely announce the iPhone 14 lineup during a September Apple event. The iPhone 14 Pro models have been tipped to get a price increase of some $100, but in return could offer 256GB starting storage rather than 128GB. As such, the iPhone 14 Pro might hit $1,099 and the iPhone 14 Pro Max may hit $1,199. However, this iPhone 14 Pro storage boost has been shot down in a report from Haitong International Analyst Jeff Poom.
who claims that Apple will be keeping storage the same as it was with the iPhone 13 Pro, which means sticking with 128GB, 256GB, 512GB and 1TB storage options. If that puts you off already then the standard iPhone 14 is expected to stick at $799, also backed up by a claim coming via Twitter leaker Dohan Kim, and the new iPhone 14 Max is tipped to cost $899. Going by all the rumors so far, we reckon September 13th will be the launch date for the iPhone 14 range. That's backed up by the fact that filming is allegedly underway for the iPhone 14 launches of early August 